What up, what up, what up? Double M's, this your boy Keys, and I'm back with yet another video. I know. Look to the side, you'll hear him, and he's going, ow, ow. And it's your girl, Mandy, ow, ow. What's going on? Just wanted to get with you. Y'all see what I got. A little small seafood ball for you. We get my lunch in. I uh, had a subscriber. Wanted me to uh, come on and talk to the fellas. But ladies, I'm going to talk to you all too. Let's get into this blessing session and we'll get all into it, all right? Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. We ask you to add a blessing unto them, add a blessing unto this food. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's get in there. We got a little shrimp, some lobster tails, uh, some scallops, some potatoes, some corn down there at the bottom, and we have a uh, get big cream king crab for you um just some leftovers that we had so just to get down to business y'all excuse me, i got a little bag over here for my stuff had a one of our subscribers in the double m kingdom told me to come in and do something for the fellas. Mm. Mm. Shrimp glass. Bam. They say they like the relationship that me and Mandy have. And how do we keep our relationship so loving. Well, I'm, it's, it's straight simple for some of us. So I'm gonna give y'all 10 ways. I like to give points. And y'all already know, got my composition, but I have to write things down. So I'm gonna give y'all 10 points, 10 ways. To love your queen. That's what I have. Ten ways to love your queen. To love your wife. To love your significant other. That's what we're going to talk about, fellas. It, this is easy. If you are king. Read my hand. If you are king. You want to do everything for your queen. To make her happy. Mm. Y'all go on and take a lobster tail. You can have a potato. Have what you want. Got them onions and everything on it. Got some corn down there for those of you that want that. Mm. So good. Mm. But yes, y'all, 10 ways to love your wife, your spouse, your queen. First way, listen. Mm. Listen without interrupting. You know, us fellas, you feel like, I'm the man. Man, listen to me. We don't have to be so alpha. We don't have to be so aggressive with that. Listen to your queen. For those 
that like to read the good book. Y'all know what the good book, the Bible. I have, a, I have a verse to go along with it. So Proverbs 18. Listen. Take time to gather your thoughts, you know, until what your queen is, 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 is speaking on, you know. Allow her to voice her concerns. Listen, listen to her without interrupting. This is going to be straightforward, straightforward into it. Second point, speak. Speak without accusing. Again, allow your queen to speak. Allow her to get everything out that's going that's going on or that she has on her mind, and don't accuse accuse her because we have a way of uh, uh, making assumptions um, of accusing. Why do you think this? Why do you think that? Allow her to speak her mind and you follow up with an answer, not accusing. Number three, give. Yes, we're in a relationship. The first thing most people are Let's say that comes to a man, my oh, he wanna uh, give uh, sex or give relations, however you wanna call it. Give that eggplant emoji. <laughs> no, even though that is what uh, comes with a relationship, you we all know. But no. Give your time. Give some some uh, valid communication. Give your thoughts on some of the things that she she's speaking upon. Hmm. Be able to. Mm. What's the scallop? Excuse me. Give your undivided attention. Give. And do it with, with, without sparing. Keys. Keys. Are you talking about giving up money? No. Well, that could be thought to do as well. Giving a gift. Going out the way. She's at work having a hard day. Be thoughtful and give something that'll brighten the day. If you haven't been given input on something, give some valid input that takes some strain off that young lady. Mm. Proverbs 21, 16. For the second one, speak without accusing. 
the verse for that will be James chapter 1, verse 19, okay? We missed that one. So we're going to number 4. This is one of the things you should be doing anyway. Praying. Even though we know we can do it separate and apart. Pray together. Mm. Pray for each other. And when you pray, pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping. That's what that means. Mm. Y'all already know I be fighting with this seafood. But we gonna get this tail out of there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping. Pray for each other. That's one thing we should always be doing for one another. That we get better. That we love each other even more. And that coin, y'all. Verse for that, Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Number 5. Mm -mm -mm. Answer. Answer without arguing. Dang. What you want now? Hey, babe. Hey. Hey, can you? I done it. You could have got that yourself. <laughs> Answer without arguing. Yes, baby. How can, how can I help you? Yes, baby. What, what do you need? Easy. If you love that person, treat them like you love them. And that's a Proverbs 17 1. Answer without arguing. Everything ain't got to be an argument. Little petty stuff. Because somebody asks you something. Or somebody asks you to do something. Or go get something for them. Whether or not. Or come get something for them. Whether or not they're close to it. Or. Or not. That's your queen. She asks you to do it. Come on. Do it. It's easy. Get it done. No, I'm not perfect. That's why we having this conversation. I ain't perfect. Some of the things I do, you know? Mm. And I constantly try to work on them things. You'll get better. To be a better me. To be a better king. For man. Because I love her like that. And. We know things ain't going. 
They not gonna change overnight. Come on, let's be for real. But the fact that you're making changes is good. Number six. Share. Mm. This is something that we should have been willing to do when you made that commitment and made those vows. Mm. It's sharing everything that you have, no matter what. Even if it's coming down to your last Buy the food. Well, with that, I know I ain't got to worry about the food part. <laughs> Cause my manly pool get full quick. But we should be sharing everything. One and the same. And I ain't talking about no 50 50 down the middle because everything should be a hundred percent. So that's not what I'm talking about. And I'm not giving or taking away from those that do things 50 50. That's just my perception. I think 50 50 steps in if a spouse gets an emergency situation steps in and they share in the responsibility of where the uh, significant other can't because they got in an accident or they sick and the other person steps in and picks up their end and they still go ahead and handle their stuff too. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. Verse for that, for sharing without pretending. Don't be pretending you want to share with somebody and your heart not even in it. Just don't do it at all. But our focus right now is let's do it with the whole heart. Let's do it from a loving place. And that's going to be Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15. These are just some little verses that you can read. If you feel in a certain type of way about this and you need to go back and look at some ways that you can um, calm yourself or comfort yourself and even comfort the person you're with. Your queen, your significant other, however you want to say it. Your wife, your partner. Mm. Some verses that you can look on for those that like to do so. Mm. Next one, number seven. Joy. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mm. 
Enjoy without complaint. Person that cooked you a, a meal. Or plan the night out. Or some type of getaway. Or some type of event. And all you want to do is complain. Huh? Look at the weather. Oh, man. That's why I don't like doing stuff like this. This right here always happens. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy each other. Enjoy life. Stop complaining. Verse is going, the verse that's going to go with that, that you can look on, Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Again, Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Next one. Number 8. We almost done, y'all. Big one. Trust. Mm. Trust. Trust without wavering. We know that a man that wavering is unsteady in all his ways. That's one thing that we gotta learn and get back to. Is trusting one another. Mm. Cause that's not a lot of trust out there. We have those that are breaking trust or let's put it they're untrustworthy. So a person is not willing to put the trust in them. So we're gonna have to flip that thing around and learn to be trustworthy and be trustworthy without wavering. All right? Verse that's going to go along with that, fellas, is going to be Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7, okay? Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. We got to be trustworthy and do it without wavering. Mm. Another big one. Um, number nine. Another big one. Forgive. Mm. Forgive. Without punishing. Mm. Forgive without punishing. Okay, oh, that's easy for you to say. If they did you like that, what you would do? Forgive without punishing. I teach you, I teach you to treat me like that. Well, what good is going to come out of that?
You got to forgive without punishing. We can do it, y'all. We can do it. Mm. We can do it. You got to forgive without punishing. The verse that goes with that is Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Mm. Mm. I'm dropping stuff. Mm. We got to get into it, y'all. Number 10. Last but not least, mm, this stuff so good. Mm. Promise. Promise. Number 10. Promise. What? I ain't making no promises, King. Bump that. You can get out of here with them promises. Promises, y'all. You can do it. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about. And you gotta get these promises without forgetting. Promises without forgetting. Come on. How are we forgetting about the ones we love? Promises, man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. The verse that goes along with promises is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. The key. Amen. I ain't making no promises. Because you know the saying, don't make promises you can't keep. Don't make promises you can't keep. If you love them, keep them. Keep them. Keep your promise. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Key, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Okay. Promise to love them with your whole heart. Mm. You got to. Promise to support them in all and everything they do. Support them. I got you, baby. Whatever you want to do, I'm, I'm there. I got your back. Promise not to judge them. Straight judgment free zone. Promise to Promise to make them laugh. You know, have fun, be silly. Don't take it serious. Don't think take things too personal. Yeah, don't take things too personal. Promise to be honest. And lastly, promise to never break their heart. 
We can do this, fellas. We can do this. You see my you see what my shirt say drip. It's you gotta you gotta find the 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 king of drip within yourself. And you gotta do that expeditiously. <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but it's it's adamant, fellas. We you know we gotta do that. We gotta do that. It's we we we're losing our kings. But let me tell you this: there's a king that lives in each and one of us. There's a king, fellas. That lives in each and every one of us. It's up to you. To find your inner king. And love your queen. Mm. You got to do it. Wow. Ten ways to love. Listen. Speak. Give. Pray. Answer. Share, enjoy, trust, forgive, and promise. I'm going to give you one more. Repeat. Repeat. All ten ways, one through ten. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs it up for your boy Keys. Go on, share the video, share it, share it with all your family, share it with all your friends. Go on and give it to me. Mm. Go on and hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. Don't be scared to get down there in the comments and tell me what's up. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Double M Kingdom. Hey, this your boy Keys. I approve this message. Y'all stick with your boy. Stick with your girl, Mandy. She'll see you on the next one. And we out.